we just explain to people hello hello everyone welcome to a second channel video where i cover the topic of zeos why are your videos 4.3 what the fuck is wrong with you crts are not coming back stop it so ironically i'm filming this video in uh 1080p but i'm standing in front of or sitting in front of my uh, beautiful vertical 65 inch uh, screen and i have an old school 1080p 60 video playing there, and a new school 4.3 30 FPS video there. Uh, and this sort of came about by accident. I had never wanted to switch to a, a 4K video format because it, up, it changes how long it takes for me to upload, how hard it is to re-encode and edit. And you, I know I say edit and everyone laughs. But um, 4K, especially 4K 60 is just massive. And I was never gonna go to it, but, Having to film the review of the CRTs we have here, I had to play with settings and try to get it so that the flicker didn't happen. And that only happened on 30 FPS, and I figured if I'm at 30 FPS, I'm gonna run to 4K. And then I tried 4K, and 4K was, something was off with it. And then I tried 2700K, because that's there's three resolution settings on the Hero 8, which is what I'm using. 1080p, 2700, and 4K. And when I went to 2700, recorded at 30 fps uploaded it to youtube youtube saw it at the larger size automatically scaled it to 4k giving me the higher bitrate on youtube and it looked fantastic and then it dawned on me um most phones most cameras in general they don't have 16 by 9 ccds the ccd is the actual part that the light hit and it takes the information from the gopro that's the native resolution of the sensor and Actually, that's probably cropped a little bit because we can put it in super view, which is insanely wide. But by switching from the cropped, because if you look, if you watch these videos, notice the waifu screen, because that's pretty consistent, I think, in all my videos. Notice how much of it you can see in the new format. Notice how much of the second and third shelves you see behind the screen and how much you see my crotch. We are not, the 4.3 is not cropping the sides off. People seem to think that's what's happening. What's happening is the sides are identical. The actual width of what I'm seeing is identical. I'm just adding back the stuff that was cropped off. Kind of like the fucking, uh, what's his name, did the Batman movie that was like, oh, the Snyder Cut. I'm Snyder Cutting Z Reviews. So there's, there's several benefits. Number one, we get to see more of the desk. Now that's making people who run their phones, because again, you don't have TVs like this, but if you run your phone vertical like this, you would actually get 33% more Zeos. If you turn it horizontal, instead of it filling the entire width, you actually get 43% less Zeos. So I recommend watching my videos vertically now on your phone, just like this, which I find more comfortable anyway. Um, but that's not, that's not for here nor there. There's several other main benefits to running it the way I am. Look at the colors. I've, yes, I've locked down the ISOs and things more, but because I'm running at a lower frame rate, because I had to go from 60 to 30, to really notice this benefit, all the colors are richer. All the things pop more, there's more vibrance, they're more accurate. I was using that, that light above the desk and everything always looked faded out and washed out and those, the purple of those things looks like shit. And I'm not a color correction guy, that shit's for DMS. But looking at these two things, I could tell you right over the colors. Now, if you haven't noticed it yet, um, another thing that I'm allowed to do once I because now that I've gone from a cropped 16 by nine to an expanded 4.3, I can now put an image stabilization. So it crops a little bit of it, but smooths it out. Look how manic every movement is on that. Every little, little time I talk, it just it vibrates. And maybe some of you have come accustomed to that, but it's like, I have to watch these videos too, you know. Every video you've ever watched, I've watched it, and then some. Sometimes going in slow motion, so I'm jumping back. What did I say? What did I say I was a review? So I watch my own videos. I know the content. And I usually watch it sitting on my, you know, in front of my big old Sony OLED. Which some people are like, oh, I watch my Sony OLED. And the movement just gets to me sometimes. And I know that's per person. And it's one of the things that chases away the old people from my channel. But look, just if you stood back in my position right here, 
and I had to pick one of these videos to stare at for the next 40 minutes, I guarantee you everyone would pick this one. The stabilization, the colors, the fact that on this screen vertically, yes, you're getting more, more real estate. You're seeing more power than you would here. The, the going to 30 FPS also allows the GoPro's processor to process for twice as long. That's why we get the colors and the sharpness. I could read all the songs and pull downs, everything, even at half the frame rate. Now that the motion stabilization is on, I can read everything. Granted, you're not, most of you are not standing against your thing. Look, look at the, how clear the face reveal is. Everything on the desk is clean. All the anime figures in the background. That's another thing. When the GoPro crops for 1080p, because it just throws away the top and bottom of the CCD, it just, it's gone, it doesn't use it at all. When it throws it away, we lose levels of detail. It can't process things. That's why I can't make out any, every movement, even at 60 FPS, and these are both playing off of YouTube at full resolution, but any movement at only 1080p is just blurs. It's just blurs and everything here, I could read crystal clear, every letter, number, the fluid icons in the back. I think it's gonna take a solid month for people to understand the benefits of like, you know what? I used to watch Zeos and I was like, eh, I can't watch it, it shakes too much. The man's goddamn fucking manic all the time. And sometimes that was part of the review, part of the charm of it. It was like, I'd go crazy and the camera would shake like it is currently, because this camera currently has no smoothing on. But the benefits of just, look how blue my pants are. God, I just, I'm trying to convince you all to see what I'm seeing. Like th this change, the change that goes from being able to see the entire monitor and then the wall behind it, and then still have this incredibly detailed view of the products versus what can only be described as a fucking crazy person with a GoPro on his head with no details and bad color compensation. Because there's no fixing the colors without using the whole CCD. It's not using as much lens. It's all, it's all better in 4.3. Look at the look at the view of the, the only thing I can try to do, because I've heard the GoPro 10 has overheating issues, is grab a GoPro 9 or maybe a 10 and risk it and see if I can run 4.3 and 60 because it's all about processing power. The processing of the image, every image only 30 times a second instead of 60 makes a huge difference. And if I put this to 16 by nine, if you said Zeos, but we want 16 by nine, this is what it's going to do. It's just going to remove the top and bottom again. And there's no point. We're getting the full width. Let's get the full height. If it adds black borders on the side of your phone, it's not making, it's zooming out slightly because it has to obviously fit the video in the window. And I'm sorry that it's making your video seem smaller on, on the phone. But this is fucking, this is the future. I, I, I would love to film in two, three, five to one, the ultra wide format that everything in my life is, my projection screen, my uh, laptop downstairs. But with the way I film videos, with the head cam perspective, there's no way to go wider. All you'd get is more frantic, tearing, moving, and shaking. Looks like the Blair Witch when I really get close to it. Having this with the smoothing on, even at 30 FPS and the slight, when I move, you could see a slight judder of things. Even this is just so much better. I need to convince you. I want to continue doing this. Even if it takes more space, more processing time, and more time to upload it, I think this is worth it. It's gonna always bother some people. I remember when my father used to sell laser discs back in the fucking day. People would come in and complain that it was a widescreen movie because everyone had four or three televisions and they'd come in and complain, there's black bars in the top and bottom. And my father would consistently and constantly have to tell them, oh, no, 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 you don't understand. You're seeing more this way. And they didn't give a shit. They want to pan and scan. Just cut that shit off. I just want to fill my screen, fill my screen. You're getting black bars on the side of Z reviews now because most of you have 16 by nine screens and not CRTs, but you're getting black bars on the side, but you're seeing more. 
I've never run B-roll. I've never had cameras that get close, which by the way, if I take the camera off and move it right up to, I moved it right up to the screen of my CRT and it was still clear. Impossible to do in 1080p. Always got blurry within five or six inches. I couldn't get menus or anything. Everything is a better about recording in 4.3. It just unlocks the camera's full potential. And eventually this one for the unboxing and the secondary channels might switch to it. I haven't yet. I haven't decided because it's, and again, it is more space, more time. And uh, God, it looks so much better. Just look, just, just the shaking. Are people, do you miss the shaking? Look how consistent and concise that looks. And this one doesn't have linear. The one I released today, the, uh, the one for the uh, plus sound, I had a linear field of view on. This is a wide field of view. The linear field of view stretched it even further and tried to make everything square, but like this wouldn't be a slight curve. It would be straight, but it screwed everything up. I, I, can't, I can't force you to like what I like. All I can do is plead my case. The difference is now, I'm gonna go through the last thing, the difference is. So instead of uh, 10, 1920 by 1080, I'm filming in 30, I don't think it's, it's 2700, no, it's 2700 high? No, 2700 wide by nearly the 4K resolution vertical. So much higher resolution. We go from 60 FPS, which throws away detail, to 30 FPS, the camera can take its time and process. I've got lockdown colors to better associate um, the ISO and the ISO and white balance are locked now. Whereas there, I kept them in auto because it would just get all fucky because 1080p. Um, smoothing on, not hyper smooth. There's three levels of smoothing, or there's two levels of smoothing. I think there's off, which that is. That's that's off, and I don't know how you people can stand videos for this long. I have no idea how I was able to build a career on that shit moving like that. This, look at the, it's it's smooth as butter. I can make it even smoother, it would crop further, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I don't mind it like giving you a little bit of my emotion in my head movement. The smoothing makes the 30 FPS tolerable. Because I remember when I, I can go back to my old videos, go back to like six years ago videos when I first moved into my old apartment. Those were 30 FPS 1080p videos. And those are abysmal. And then I moved to 60 FPS and everyone said this is better. And now I have moved back to 30, but oh my God, with the stabilization, this is artwork. You can make out the, her pupils in her eyes. Look at this figure. People need to just get close and respect the resolution change versus whatever the fuck is happening here. I, I think, I'm gonna keep this video relatively short. In the end, it's not your channel, it's my channel. I know that's not the way to go, the customer's always right. If people go and find someone else to watch, if they think they can get a better review, a more consistent review with a 16 by nine content, then I implore you to go find someone else. But I feel this, this is a passion thing with me now. Nothing to do with, oh, it's useless love CRTs. It's gotta do with, it just is better. This is a better format for reviews. Infinitely, I've watched seven or eight of them now that I've you know recorded and put on Patreon. And sitting in front of my big ass TV with black bars on the side, I can tolerate myself more. And it's about me tolerating myself first. And if you truly want to watch it in 16 by nine, there are ways to either download it and crop it, or someone even said they um, they dragged the video up to hide. They literally cropped the top of it to get it. 16 by nine. And I'm just like, whatever boats your float, man. But if you can look at these both and tell me that that's what you desire, because that's a normal ass Z reviews. That's a standard Z reviews. If you desire the shaky cam, low quality, low resolution, bad colors, terrible lighting, but at 60 FPS versus like cinematic quality colors, and, I can't make the argument anymore. I'm gonna upload this to the second channel tonight. This is a tonight video because I feel like I'm gonna be using it a lot. So thank you for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and um, give it a chance. I, I've made sure I filmed enough videos that I can't just like, oh, I'm gonna switch back. I gave it one. No, I've got like seven or eight, which is 14 to 16 days of content. And I gotta make more content tomorrow. 
and more content the next day. And it's going to be in two, in four, three, and it's going to be a transitional period and people are going to freak out, but science.